All right, I got the beginner clue right behind the Alcarit mine. Let's pick that one up. Golden Dome Awards flyers. What flyers are you giving out, little guy? Well, you gotta vote for the Golden Domes. Wait, what? Give me that. Wait a second. I know who I'm voting for. Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. Yeah! I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the endgame. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Guys, we have eight beginner clues and eight easy clues just to start off this next episode. So, without further ado, no jibba jabbing. Let's go straight into it. We got beginner clues, we got easy clues. Let's do the beginners first. That is terrible. This is even worse. This is even worse than that one. Yo! Oh no! Why is it the Guthics one? I need the Zamrak and the Saradome and, and I get the Guthics one for the third goddamn time. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Nope. Please give me a good... Oh, wow. Those beginner clues were absolute trash. Are these easy clues going to be redemption? Will I get the cape of skulls? Will I get the rainbow? We'll see about that. Do I have that? I do think I do have that. I think I have that. Please tell me I don't. Oh, <gasps> it's a unique. Yes. And that's actually a pretty rare one, I think. Holy shit. Let's go. Amulet of power T. Not bad. Not bad. Let's keep going. Get that cape of skulls. Something. Something different. Okay. Out of eight, I still need to get one unique, right? A Barret? Blue Barret? And Black Plate Legs G? That might actually be a unique too. Let's check, let's check, let's check. Plate Legs T, I'm pretty sure that is a unique. Alright, it's not. Is the Barret a unique? It is. Okay, two, two uniques out of eight clues. Not too bad. Right, so we went back to the Lava Dragons. No luck. Crashed by PKers, everything. So, we're just gonna take a break from the Lava Dragons for a little bit. Uh, I kind of wanted to try and get one elite clue from them before I moved on, but I'm, I'm feeling it, boys. And when you're feeling it, you can't give up. We're going straight for Barrows. So, let me first do this medium clue, and then get my gear fixed. And then try and figure out Barrows. Try and get that elite clue first chest or an item. That'd be great. See you guys with the casket. Right. We have the casket. Let's just straight up open it. It is absolute trash. Okay. First things first, uh, I got a little surprise for you guys still. In the last episode, I died with my Ring of Wealth, so I had to get it back. Only way to get that back is get Mysterious Emblems with Wildy Slayer. Now, I went incredibly dry and I got three Larence Keys before I got a um, Mysterious Emblem. So because we can still get sharks and stuff out of that chest, let's first open that. Maybe we get some good things we can use for those Barrows runs. Right, I've got my three chests here. Dragon was so kind of guiding me towards the chest because I had no idea where that was. But three chests, three Lauren Keys, boom. Five room full homes, not too bad, not too bad. And I think, holy shit, that is a big one. 570 iron ores, and now it's sharks. Please, sharks, sharks, sharks. Dragon arrow tips, you know what? Let's get the hell out of here, because that's some worth I just got. Holy crap. Time to gear up and go to Barrows. Dragon, show me the way out. Together we're figuring out how to get elite clues as consistent as possible. I love how you guys are trying to help me in the comments, so keep that coming. This episode we're going to focus on Barrows. Barrows has a 1 out of 200 drop rate of dropping an elite per Barrows brother killed, which means if I kill all 6, I have a 1 out of 33.75 chance. This is, so far, the best method we can do. But, someone on my Discord actually told me that apparently the Forthos dungeon boss, the spider, is incredibly OP for clue scrolls, so we might have to look into that later. But first, let's check out the very first method of getting elite clues for us. Barrows. Right, I think after 10 episodes <laughs> since I've gotten this book, uh, I haven't gotten it back yet, so there it is. Um, I lost it, like... A long, long time ago. But now for Barrows, I think this is the best book I can wear. So, as you can see, this is the gear setup. Uh, I still need to get my boots. And what ring am I going to use? I have no idea. I'm going to probably put a blessing in here. Um, some kind of gloves I don't know about. But get the climbing boots out. And then this is it with my range switch. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a PKer, I know. I think this is it. Now let's get some food and uh, get that first run going. Boys, look at this beast. He is so incredibly ready for Barrows. Holy shit. Um, together with the stream, we arranged this inventory. So, people are still saying I have too much food, but I'm still very scared. Uh, the first run is probably going to be way too scuffed, but I'm gonna try my best. Got a lot of prayer bonus actually with me. The order we're going to do is probably Aram, Carol, Darok, and then the others. 
There we go. <laughs> Dragon, thanks for the support, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? What did I... Hey, guys, thank you so much for the for the support. Uh, you shall not pass. I'm... Dude, guys, let me through. This is very easy. Arim, you're out. You're out of the game. See you later. Let's do Varak. That's my hidden tunnel, so we have to do that last, right? Yo, this staff is OP. All right, the middle room. Hopefully this puzzle is solved by room light. Yes, it is. Oh, I love room lights so much. Come on. Lads, oh my god, my heart just raised so much. Here we go. First chest ever. Let's get that unique. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way. Oh my god, lads. Oh my god. I am actually the luckiest motherfucker alive. <laughs> Oh, there is no way that very first chest I got in Thor County. Well, uh, lads, let's grind some barrows. I only used one dose of prayer pot this run, and this actually went... <laughs> what the fuck? And this actually went pretty smoothly. Casket number two is coming. It's coming soon. Wait, magic? Oops. I'm, I'm recording and I'm being an idiot. Okay, the stream was freaking out. You guys in the comments were probably freaking out too. I got it, we're using magic. I'm still being a noob. This run went smoothly until I started the recording. That's, that's great. Boom, nope, it's not great. Right, so mid barrows, my, uh, you guys have probably typed into the comments about a thousand times by now, but I have imbued my Ivan staff. Now it has 2,500 charges, which is um, way better than 250. Like midway barrows run, I had to come back because I didn't have any charges anymore. All right, let's go to the next chest. Boom. Bolt racks and a lot of de death runes. I'm happy with that chest. I'm quite happy with that. Casket number four is decent. Got death, death runes again, so not bad. This better be an elite clue. Let's boom. Not that. Elite clue, please. Torex hammer. I want to be happy with it. I want to be happy with Torex hammers, but at least that's two parts. At least that's two parts of Torex, right? <laughs> Torex blade, buddy. Yo, I almost have full Torex already. I think I just need the legs. I just need the legs and I got full Torex. What? It's a monster clue requirement to get all the pieces of a barrow set, by the way. And... <laughs> what? What is happening? 51 chests. I'm doing incredible on these. I'm doing absolutely terrible on the leaks. Yeah, just... just open it, right? Yes! Oh! Elite clue! Yes! First task, you can see it in the top left corner. Kill a basilisk. Incredibly easy, and I'm so glad that I finally got the elite. I know. The uh, overreaction was a bit overreaction, but it's just I went 52 chests without seeing a unique. I was getting uniques from barrows left and right, which I do appreciate. I was due for an elite, and it just it just was really great to get finally get one. What is this? Get the confused lost barbarian. I've never heard of this guy. Yo, what the fuck? This green dragon is fucking me up. Get out of here, dude. I'd imagine that this is the guy I have to kill, right? Thing is, I also looked here. And it says, kill the ferocious barbarian spirit that spawns, receive a clue casket. So I get the casket or what? I think that's wrongly typed, probably. But um, yeah, we'll see. I think I'll get bones from this guy. Those bones I have to fire on that one barbarian place. Because I just learned barbarian fire making. And then the spirit dude spawns, right? If this fucking pyrefines wants to piss off, how am I going to kill this skeleton warlord dude? If these annoying guys keep going... <sighs> Fuck sake. That's it. I'm calling the CC. Here we go, boys. Let's get it. All right, guys, get the water finds. Get everyone off me. Help. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god, Marley. Oh, you're gonna get me killed, dude. Oh my. Oh my god. All right, we got a dude. You know what? Don't want to talk about it. Got him. All right, now I'm supposed to use these bones. On the pirate site, I think, and there should be a barbarian coming out of that, something like that, and that should be the elite clue done, right? Okay, this was actually not that bad of a step. I just made it really, really unfortunate. Right now, let's see if he actually drops a casket, cause it says casket over here. Yeah, it doesn't. That's what I thought. Let's see. 
Number three, BIP, take right on the fairing. Okay, seems pretty easy. Did I really just get this again? Step number five might actually already be it. If I answer this question correctly, um, or on when, I think. 20. Dorgish Khan, middle level. Uh oh, can I get into Dorgish Khan as a question? To prompt the dialogue, I need to complete another slice of ham. It requires the giant dwarf, and that's basically it. So, that is the giant dwarf quest. Dwarf? The giant dwarf quest completed. A lot of XP, but probably no levels at all. But let's do another slice of ham. Yes, there we go. That is another slice of ham completed. Thing is, I completely forgot to bring my elite clues, so now I still have to go back. Alright, and now we can complete it. There we go. Answer is a 2505, sir. Give it back. Give me the casket, please. No, one more clue. Kill a green dragon. It's gonna drop a casket in the middle of the wilderness. <laughs> There we go, my beautiful friend. You're gonna drop me something beautiful. I think he's immediately going to drop the casket, isn't he? Yeah, there it is. Oh shit. A rune dagger? Yay, 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 Okay, get all that, get out of the wilderness, and let's open it. <sighs> Alright, we're out. And since this spot gave us a lot of luck last time, let's drop a couple inventory slots. Let's see if it does again. Elite casket number four. Is. Well, I, I just came from Barrows. I don't, I mean, I don't need. What? Alright lads, here it is. Chest number 100. We've been dry for a while now. Uh, we've got one elite clue out of 100 caskets, which means we're over double drop rate, let's be honest. Okay, please bless me with 100 chest RNG. But we're not giving up, it's Sunday, I've been here for three days, just grinding this out. It's got to turn around soon, right? BAM! <laughs> Glue scroll elite! Come on! Eight? Eight? Fucking finally! Uh, right, so, uh, as you can see in the top left corner, I got an elite. Uh, you guys heard the uh, reaction. Bit embarrassing, but oh <laughs> Kill an avian sea. I think that's in the God Wars dungeon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, don't correct me, because it doesn't make sense, because I've already recorded this video, and I'm already going to kill that avian sea in the God Wars dungeon. So, your boy has got it finally. Uh, <laughs> this was really not that hard. I don't even need the mithril gravel and crossbow. Germ's live in the chat. Everyone give him some flame because he told me I needed it. But apparently he's just in the middle here. Oh, Rune Dagger P+. Plus. What? All right, let's see what the next one is. Maybe it's just another one. Wise. That is the helping... What is it? Small arms? Making friends with my arm. It's that quest. All right, lads. That's a big one. Shit. I think we need a massive herbal requirement for that. 72 mining, 35 construction, and 60... 8 agility. And 66 fire making. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a second, boys. Right, this should be Cold War done. Not really the greatest of quests, but it was a lot of running around. But I still don't know how to get into Wise exactly. But I don't know if this is enough to get into there. By the way, I'm gonna get 21 mil total XP. I just got it. <laughs> Alright, after a bit of ping-ponging with the clan chat. Join that, by the way. I think I got it. Um, I think I need to complete making friends with my arm, which requires 66 fire making and 68 agility. Let's do the fire making first. Yo, quick shout out to um, Skiploy. <laughs> he just gave me a random bond here at Wintertot. I was totally not expecting it. Um, what a fucking legend, dude. Thank you so incredibly much. Right, so next game should be the level. Uh, should get 66. I know there weren't any in between times, but you guys don't want to see me playing Wintertot all the time, right? You just want to see the crates and you want to see the level, right? So I'll see you in the next clip. When we get 66 and we're going to open a couple crates. Hey, there is the level. Now let's finish this game real quick. Welcome to my bank that is way too overfilled. Uh, let's take out a couple of crates. We have eight, 13 in total. Let's do the first eight. Let's hope for a Tome of Fire because that thing is literally the only thing I'll ever need for Barrows. So it will make my day, but we'll see what we get. We have a relatively high total, so we should be able to get some, some good stuff, but apparently we are not. Since all of these games are 500 point games, I can't get over that. I'm missing a roll every single time. So we haven't gotten a unique yet and we're not gonna get one today. Right, so at least there's one upside to this. Um, I am going to actually get my Marks of Grace, finally. Let's put this on and I'm ready to go. It's from 60 to 68 I need to get, but a higher agility level is advised or recommended. But I think I'm gonna go for a 66 and then boost up with Summer Pies. I still have a couple in my bank, uh, and I also have 211 Agility Potions. 
depending on how long it takes, maybe I'll just do the full grind, because eventually I will need a high agility level anyways. All right, we're getting somewhere finally. The agility level is now 65. This was actually not that bad. Seriously course is pretty good to be honest. We are now within a boostable range with our 211 agility potions to actually start the quest already. But I think I'm going to not do that. There we go about two to three days later we got it 68 agility that is the requirement for making friends with my arm. Now I can do something that I've been waiting for since the beginning of the account when we can first train agility. It's time to get that graceful. I really don't have the bank space for it but I need the outfit. Look at it. Look at it, we finally got full graceful, and we might actually use it for the making friends with my arm quest, because that's a lot of running and agility, right? Minus 24 kilograms, oh my god, look at how slow my run goes down. Alright, let's start this. And I guess, cue the montage of me failing all the agility courses. I brought three summer pies, I didn't want to waste too many, let's do it. Alright, mate. Alright, this second... Come on, dude. Don't worry about it. Mm. Fuck, this is going to be really close. Oh my god. What? I'm out of prayer and everything, boys. This is it. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, I completely forgot I have to do this shit again. <laughs> no. Come on, fuck's sake. I'm gonna need new food. Are you kidding me? Again. Should be done right about now. Oh my god. I only used like, I used two prayer pots, I just I just didn't pick enough prayer pots last time, that's the unfortunate part, because I only used four food. Yeah, let's finish this quest, <laughs> I'm so done with it. Wow, and they lived happily ever after. Beautiful. That's, it's oh, just sorry. adorable. Slayer music. Alright, so this should be it. Whew. Um, actually the quest wasn't too bad. I was just uh, underprepared, let's say that. <laughs> Hopefully the reward is decent, and let's do that elite clue. There we go, we're done. 10k agility and mining, 5k fire making, 2k construction. Not too great, but the uh, I've heard that the patches where you can make the campfires or the fires are pretty good. So, yeah, these fire pits. Should have brought something. Anyways, let's do that elite clue. You gotta be kidding me that I have to do this thing every single time I want to go to Wise, right? What step is this, actually? Oh, it's only step two. Yeah, that's what I thought, actually. Let's get it. Next clue. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Dragon boots. I'm getting flashbacks. 